Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. A while back, I showed you this really cool 3D printed Nano VNA case. There'll be a link to that video up above. I also showed you this case here for holding your tiny SA. And after that video, the creator of the 3D printed case went out and sent me a tiny SA case. Let's go take a look. These things here are pretty slick. This is the Nano VNA case and just a quick look on the inside. Nano VNA H4, they also have a case that fits the smaller version. And then inside is this little spot for all your goodies that you might need. But this video is not about the Nano VNA case. It's about the tiny SA case. And this is the one that I did in a previous video. And I still like this one a lot. It is a great setup. It has all of my accessories in it. They're all stored nice and neat and ready to roll. And this is the tiny SA Ultra. I do have a case for the Nano VNA and the tiny SA, the regular size ones as well. And again, that video will be linked up at the top. But this is the new hotness. Oh, it's red. This is awesome. First off, there's a note in here from Jared. Steve, thank you again for your support. I've included an additional tiny SA case for you to give away or whatever you want to do. And it's from Add Subtract Customs on Etsy. There will be a link for his store in the description down below. At some point, I guess I need to figure out how to use the tiny SA and Nano VNA. You know, it is perfectly okay if your hobby is building 3D printed cases for ham radio accessories and my hobby is Morse code. That's what makes the world go round, is that we all are a little bit different. So this is a nice blue one, and there are some instructions inside, and tells you how to get it all installed, but I will show you how to make all that work out as well. And then underneath, oh, look at that. Here's a little SMA wrench. That's pretty cool. So let's put that down like so, and cover that up. And then, since this one has my call sign on it, you can imagine the one that's going to be for the giveaway is the blue one. So let's open this up and see what all we can transfer into it. Again, the instructions, we'll look at those later. The holder and an SMA wrench. So first thing I do is get this out of the bag because we're keeping that SMA wrench. This is not an SMA torque wrench, obviously. It's just a regular wrench to help big fingers touch tiny things. Okay, so I need to transfer over a bunch of stuff out of this accessory bag that I have. I'm gonna dump it all in the top here and then we'll get it organized. The coax jumpers fit in nicely around the centerpiece there. And then there is room for our union. And then this is a DC pad, a DC block, that will help keep DC, as opposed to RF, out of your tiny SA when you're doing your work. There's a spot there for the stylus, which I thought was something that was missing from the tiny SA itself. There should be some place on the tiny SA to do it. Okay, so that bag is now empty. I have my attenuator, and my attenuator is a little too big to fit in there. And then I have my USB charging cable. And you can take this out and wrap it around like you've done with the coax as well. I'm not gonna do that. I've got so many of these. This is just an emergency backup. And that will fit in there like so. And then let's put the lid back in place and that lid is magnetic you heard it snap down and then hope oh, that's upside down and then there's room there for the sma connectors to stick out the side and not get hurt and it's got a little piece there to hold it in place so it doesn't slide around and then like i said about the instructions there are these little pieces here which are muy importante very important I had Mexican for lunch. It was muy caliente, it was fantastic. All right, so what you do with these guys, you don't wanna stick these onto the SA, it's windy, oh great. Um, you wanna put them upside down like this so that the sticker part sticks to the lid of the case and protects the tiny SA. So this is gonna be fun in the wind. Peel the cover off. I'm gonna put that in there just for a few seconds if I can get my fingers off of it. And it's blowing around and you put that there and there. And if I can get the stickers and the wind to cooperate all at once, I will be amazingly impressed. Why did I want to do this outside? All right, quickly. And ideally, you should hold those on for a while, like clamp the lid shut, go to bed, wake up the next morning, and you are good to go. But this is video editing, and I can't do that. But you can now see that they are stuck up here 
on the lid. And what that does is it makes it so the only thing you hear rattling around is the accessories I have underneath. The tiny SA is not moving. So pull that out, pull that out, and there you go. Just wanted to share this with you really quick. Jared, thank you very much for sending this in. As always, I do my giveaways on Monday night on Ham Nuggets. So there will be a giveaway of this nice little blue Tiny SA case with the instructions and the SMA wrench in red inside for your Tiny SA protecting pleasure. Don't forget there are links down below where you can get one of these if you gotta have one now, because there's only one to give away. There's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.